in 2018, I attended an event at LUMCOM, the Louisiana University's Marine Consortium. There were over 30 scientists and science communicators that gathered for five days and explored the Louisiana coast, met with local residents, and learned how everything is not doom and gloom in the bayou. There are several examples of adaptation and resilience for living in this physical environment. Myself and my colleagues were challenged to find ways to tell these success stories. Stories with the theme of coastal optimism. I can't exactly pinpoint when I had my aha moment. That moment when I first considered utilizing quilts as a science communication tool. But I left LumCon inspired and I began my journey into quilting science stories and started an entire mini collection of quilts titled Stitching Hope for the Louisiana Coast. This quilt starts off the collection and is inspired by the location and theme of coastal optimism, with each of the four panels quilted in a block pattern called Century of Progress. The upper left is the stitching block filled with fabrics showcasing sewing tools such as needles, thread, scissors, and sewing machines. The upper right block reflects hope with hearts and the word hope printed on various fabrics. The lower left block captures the spirit of Louisiana with the fleur-de-lis, colors of Mardi Gras, oysters, and chili pepper fabric to represent the home of the Tabasco factory. The lower right block has fabrics with various coastal scenes, including beaches, shells, waves, boats, and seabirds. The border around all four fabrics is a sand pattern. The binding is a fabric with a ruler print to connect with the sewing and stitching theme. There are gaps between the layout of the four squares, representing gaps in knowledge, gaps in policy, gaps in action to accomplish what is needed to fully succeed in understanding how to live and work within the Louisiana coastal zone. The back of the quilt shows four different fabrics with clocks, all representing time. We have time, but we are running out of time, no matter how you look at it, to accomplish what we need to in Southern Louisiana. Yes, the Louisiana coastal zone is a complex system, reportedly losing 25 to 35 square miles of coastal wetlands each year from sea level rise, diversion of the Mississippi River, subsidence of land, loss of vegetation, and the list continues. But maybe if we focus on stories of success and hope, and just maybe if we connect more people to these narratives through quilts, we can engage a larger audience in understanding the science and the stories that are stitching hope for the Louisiana coast.